<clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere piece of salutation to all you. Hopefully, let I get out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. It's Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp. Coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Shalom, Yahweh Shalom, another video. And in this video, I just, do, I, I just did a simple word search of righteous wicked and you have a lot of scriptures that came up man 74 verses you see that tell us that the righteous is going to prevail over the wicked man point blank period the righteous are who are those who have faith in the lord yahweh shah and the wicked are, are talking about who the edomites man you see lord willing we continue on in faith we have the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shah, man, as it tells you in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. This is how the righteous is going to overcome the wicked, man. It won't be done by carnal means. It's all going to be through faith, through the spirit, man. So this is Psalms 7 and 11. It says what? The Most High judges the righteous and the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. You see that? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is angry with the wicked every single day that's this is a verse to let us know that anything that esau does is going to fail eventually if the most high is angry with the wicked every day do you think the most high is going to allow esau to establish a kingdom and wickedness no this is why you see his empire falling before him man because the most high yeah how about shimmy how is angry with these devils you see, Psalms 11 and 5 says what? The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Do you see it? The Most High tries the righteous by what? By different tribulations, by different things that come, that, that come their way to see if they're going to keep their integrity and continue to walk in obedience. You see, it says what about the wicked though? But the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. The most high soul hates the wicked, man. The most high, the most high soul hates this place that's been established in this earth, Babylon the Great, this beast system ran by Esau. You see? This is a constant pattern that you find in the scriptures, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not dealing with these Edomites. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is dealing with those that what? Have faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah, man. You see? And that's just what it is. Psalms 34 and 21. Evil shall slay the wicked. And evil is going to what? Bad times. And those times that <clears throat> and these are times that we're approaching. We're approaching bad times. And what's going to happen? Evil is going to slay the wicked, man. You see that? And it says what? And they that hate righteous, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Those that hate us for believing in Yahweh Shah are going to be made desolate. And, and that includes two-thirds of our people. That includes that, that includes the wicked, the, the, the wicked elite, the Edomites, and that also includes the two-thirds of our people that hate up that hate us for uh, for standing up for righteousness, man. That hate us for, for having faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah. They're going to be made desolate, man. Point blank, period. You see? Psalms 37 and 16. A little that a righteous man have is better than the riches of many wicked. Whoo! So the little bit that we have on this side is better than anything these elite or any of the wicked celebrities or the well off of our people have, man. You see, 
Verse 17 says what? For the arms of the wicked shall be broken. But Yahweh by Shimi Hawashah upholdeth the righteous. You see that? You see? It's a constant pattern, man. Nothing but bad things are about to happen to the wicked. And great and wonderful and marvelous things are coming to the righteous, those who have faith in Yahweh Shah, man. You see? Psalms 58 and 10, it says what? The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. You see that? Meaning we're going to have the victory, man. Meaning we're going to rejoice over our enemies once this vengeance comes upon them, man. You see? You never find where the righteous are going to be overtaken and trodden underfoot. But you always hear the most I talk about how the wicked is going to be thrown down. How the wicked is going to be desolate. How the wicked is going to be uh, 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 overcome. This is what's about to happen. You see? So Psalms 15 and 10 one more time. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. And who are the wicked according to the Bible? The Edomites. It tells you in Malachi 1 and 4 that they would. They should be called the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. You see? Psalm 75 and 10 says, Well, all the horns of the wicked also will I cut off. And when you go into to horn, that goes into the power. So the power of the wicked is going to be cut off. You see how Esau is running the earth right now? Through his uh, Babylon, NATO, and the EU? The Most High is dismantling that, man. He's destroying that. He's taking the power away from Esau. You see? Why is that? Because the earth is about to be given over into the hand of the Israelites. As it is written, Thus said Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. Esau's power has been taken. And Jacob is being given, is, is about to be given the power of the planet Earth forevermore. And it tells you, Psalm 75 and 10. Psalm 75 and 10. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off. But the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. So the power of the righteous. Those who have a hey, beginning with the Lord Yahweh Shai and those who have faith in him is going to be exalted and lifted up in the earth, man. You see? Come on, man. Come on, man. This is what's written. There's nowhere in the scripture where the wicked overcome the righteous. But you always read about the righteous overcoming the wicked because that's who Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is for. You see, Psalms 125 and 3 says what? For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Meaning what? The only way Esau can have a victory over you is if you turn back to your wicked ways, man. Going back into the world and leaving off from, from, from uh, serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You see? That's the only way Esau can have the mastery over you, man. But if you continue on in the path and faith in Yahweh Shah, there is nothing that Esau can do unto you. You see? And I'll get a couple more and then I'll wrap it up because the point is being made, man. Over and over and over again, the righteous have the victory. The wicked are going to lose, man. The righteous shall prevail and the wicked is going to be desolate, man. Proverbs 10 and 3. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth the way the substance of the wicked. And that's what you see Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah doing with us, man. We're not famished spiritually. The Most High is feeding us on a daily basis, man. Whether that be uh, the Most High putting uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah putting that spirit to read upon us, or be that spirit to watch videos, or to make videos, going to highways and byways. 
in some shape, form, or fashion, we're partaking in this in this meal, this this spiritual meal, and our souls are being fattened, man. You see? Can't say the same for the wicked, man. And that's why when all hell breaks loose, a lot of these people are going to fall, man, by the wayside. Because they haven't been nourished spiritually, man. And their carnal substance is not going to be able to sustain them either. You see? So let's find one more. Let me see. What, what can we go to? Oh, man, I'll read these last two. Proverbs 11 and 8 says what? The righteous is delivered out of trouble. Pro Proverbs 11 and, and 8 says what? The righteous is delivered out of trouble, and the wicked cometh in his stead. Whoo! So the righteous is going to be delivered out of the troubles that we're coming into, and the wicked are going to be are going to succumb to the uh, uh, to the trouble, man. Verse 10 says what? When when it goeth well with the righteous, the city rejoiceth. And when the wicked perish, there is shouting. And that's exactly what it's going to be. And the Most High tells you that in multiple scriptures, man. That when the, when the whole earth resteth and rejoiceth, the wicked, meaning the Edomites, are going to be made desolate. You see? Come on, man. And I'll wrap it up on this one, man. Proverbs 11 and 23 says what? The desire of the righteous is good. It's slug it. <clears throat> Proverbs 11 and 23. The desire of the righteous is only good. The desire of the righteous is only good, man. But the expectation of the wicked is wrath. And that's exactly what's coming, man. Expect good. You see? Expect good because that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has planned for us, man. As it tells you in Jeremiah 29 and 11. I know the thoughts that I think told you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. That's what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has planned for those who are moving in that spirit of faith, uh, in, in, uh, moving that spirit of faith, believing in Yahweh Shah, man. But the expectation of the wicked, the Edomites and those who are cleaving unto him, you see, what is their expectation? Rav, man. Destruction, punishment, judgment. And this is, hey, man, this goes on and on and on and on, man. So, yeah, the righteous are going to prevail, man. And the wicked are going to be destroyed. Hey, so with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has created us to do. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wah, and Ba, Ba, Ba.